Now, you've spent a good length of time letting the kids come and go while you serve the next person in line. And most of the crowd is either off running around or they're off inside the moon box. How do you get a large group back for a magic show and maybe for the games you want following the show? A single announcement to the last people in line will get you started. The people you serve next and a few of those just hanging around have been anxiously awaiting the magic show and they'll run to collect their siblings and their friends if you send them while you're finishing balloons and faces. If you need a starter group, just tell everybody around you to stand up, face over that way and go one, two, three, we're all going to shout, magic show! In choosing the effects you want for the outdoor show, you want to think about leaving the boxes and tables and screens home aside from your face painting card table. There's a limit to how much stuff you want to carry over the countryside. Use plenty of volunteers. One or more kids will do a good job of filling up your stage nicely. Props and supplies should be limited to what you can carry in one large duffel bag at most. I've seen magicians work entirely out of the pockets in a colorful vest. One exception to this principle is the use of a live animal. And as magicians over the centuries have found, a rabbit is very attractive, tractable, and just as cute as the Dickens. Keep him out of the sun and out of the hot car, and he'll be fine. If you have him staying cool in a cage near your table, he'll be a valuable added attraction throughout the party. And if you want a really great novelty, take a break by standing up and walking the rabbit around on a leash that you get at the pet store. People think that's incredibly cute, and frankly, you can appear to be working very hard when only you know that what you're really doing is taking a break and just strolling around. As I mentioned before, my preference is to prepare for the magic show back timed from the, your ending time and put away your face and balloon supplies before you begin the magic. That way, when the show's done and everybody's finished petting the bunny, it's time for you to go. The easiest way to get a crowd for games is to use the crowd you've got there for your magic show. And when I do those basic games, it's usually following right on the magic. And although it's dressed up as a competition, when I do it, everybody wins. I don't like to have losers in that setting, and it's a great chance to make everybody happy for a very small expenditure in prices. So we do some quick games right after the magic show and before we pet the bunny. Everybody's the best and they get their prize when they come up to pet the bunny. I can offer them at no additional cost because they're really very affordable and that gives me the option of selling larger, more elaborate games. I get my prizes from Oriental Trading Company, from U.S. Toy, and mostly from Rhode Island Novelty. They only cost one to five dollars a gross, so you can afford to hand them out like candy and the larger inflated prizes only cost maybe a dollar a piece at most. If you've been hired to do something more elaborate in the way of games, I just use my inflates and these cute little loving cups as prizes for the big winners. You'll still need to have some consolation prizes for the losers to keep everybody smiling. You can use your standard prizes, the little rings, skeletons, that sort of thing for that purpose. What games to play?
Well, almost certainly not that one. Here are some games you can organize easily that go over well and play without too much risk of bodily injury. All right, we're going to have a hop like a bunny contest. I'm going to say one, two, three, go. And when I say go, I want to see bunnies hopping all over the ground right here. Ready? One, two, three, go. Hop like bunnies. Hop like bunnies. Oh, my goodness. Look at the bunnies. What a bunch of silly bunnies. Look at all those crazy bunnies. Oh, my goodness. That is enough bunnies. That is enough bunnies. Who was the best bunny? All of you. You mean you think I should give you all a prize? Hmm, I don't know. I, I know. We will have a stupid, ugly, silly, disgusting face contest. I'm going to say one, two, three, go. And when I say go, I want you to look right over there at all the grown-ups and make your stupidest, <laughs> ugliest, bleh, most disgusting face. And the one who makes the ugliest Halloween face gets a prize. Ready? One, two, three. Bleh! Turn around and make him at me. Bleh! Who made the worst face? All of you. You mean you think I should give you all a prize? I don't know. Okay. Everybody wins a prize. Stay right there and I'll see what we have. Well done. And well scooted. I didn't give those directions very well, did I? I'm sorry. Look at that bunny, Mr. Cheetah. Very good bunny cutting. There you go. Next bunny cutting is a good armor. Thank you. You sure helped that team win. Yes, you did. All right.